Tony La Russa and Dave Stewart's first offseason running the Diamondbacks was a busy one, especially on the international market. Tim McMaster here along with Jim Duquette. Let's take a look at some of the key acquisitions this team made during the hot stove season. Obviously, Yasmani Tomas, a big bat they've added. Juan Lopez, the other international guy. Jeremy Hellickson into that rotation. You see a lot of new arms that Chip Hale will kind of have to figure out. Yeah, when you're sorting through that as a first-year manager, you're going to need some help. Certainly, Dave Stewart the general manager can uh, help him with, along with Tony La Russa. But Hale, when he looks at his rotation, there's only two guys that you really see in the rotation that are definite guys. A guy like Josh Colmenter obviously has been solid in the rotation. Jeremy Hellickson in the past has been a real good quality starter. They're hoping for him to have a rebound type of year. De La Rosa and Webster are guys that they got in trades that should be good arms and hopefully they'll develop on the job. Then you have other guys, Nuno and Cahill and Anderson. I think if you even look at a guy like Archie Bradley, who's their top prospect, he'll be in the mix until Patrick Corbin and Bronson Arroyo return from Tommy John surgery. Now the consensus is Yosemite Tomas is a guy that's going to be able to hit, but they're trying to move him to third base. Is that really a, a key focus for the spring as well? Yeah, it really is because the other positions that he plays, they're already locked up with position players already that they like. So first base with Paul Goldschmidt. He's a guy that is an MVP type of candidate when he has protection in the lineup. Right field with Mark Trumbo is a big bat, could hit 40 home runs if he could bounce back. You have Peralta in left field. Looks like he's going to be an established everyday guy, although there's some question marks there. So if Tomas doesn't handle the third base move, he could move to left field. But I think they're really their hope is that Tony La Russa has had some experience in moving around position players, center fielders or outfielders to the infield. Their hope is that Tomas can in time be an average third baseman defensively.